Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a new to me vendor and it is called Woof Wix. Now, Woof Wix is a vendor based out of Michigan, owned by Amber and Steve, and they have an adorable little Siberian Husky. I'm not sure if his name is Woof or if it's just called Woof because of dogs. I'm not really 100%, but I saw a lot of people showcasing their product in their empties videos or their um, weekly wax basket videos. Yes, I'm going to get to those. It just was taking me some time. And, but, I didn't really see a lot of hauls, so I googled, or on YouTube, like, Woof Wix hauls, and oh my god, super cute. I knew I had to place an order instantly. So I placed a little order of whatever was on the site. It came in, like, four days, like, super fast shipping, and I believe they only have, like, restocks. They don't have pre-orders. I could be wrong. I'm not really sure, but I am a cat person, as you know, but I did have a dog growing up. I loved my dog, Roxy. Um, she did pass away, but... I'm a cat person because I'm not home a lot. And I do love to have an animal. It's just so comforting. And they're like your family. And I love dogs, but I'm not home enough. And it's just not fair. So anyway, so you got a little Woof Wix sticker. A little Woof howling at like a rainbow. And a, a little Woof. A little dog. And a Starbucks cereal, a pie, pumpkin, super cute. And then I love this one. It's a little husky holding a mask, or wearing a mask, and little germs. Super cute. But anyway, I got a bunch of different shapes, and what I think sets her apart is her labels. These labels, you guys. I don't know if she's a graphic designer, or if her husband Steve's a graphic designer. Somebody has talent in that family, because these, these labels are literally adorable. They're hard to see on the samples, but I'll show you anyway. This one is Coffee at the Apple Orchard, and these are the little samples. So they're like little individual clams, which I think is super cute. And they are bigger than, these are kind of hard to open. There we go. They're, they're smaller, or they're bigger than an average clam, um, like piece. Oh, I, lo I love this scent. The scents are really good, you guys. Um, but, so I would probably stick the whole thing in my warmers, or maybe cut it in half, I'm not sure yet. That's why I did not place an order with their Halloween restock. I want to melt these, let them cure, see what I think about them before I place another order. But this first sample is coffee at the apple orchard. Coffee, leaves, and cinnamon apple bread. You definitely pick up on the coffee. I'm not getting much leaves type. Oh, I almost ate the wax. It like went in my mouth. I get more of like a coffee cinnamon type of scent. Really cute. Then I have Fluff It, and this one is Cotton Candy and Fresh Laundry. I really like this. I really like her Cotton Candy. It's a very sweet, like, spun sugar scent. Well, obviously, that's what Cotton Candy is. And then the Laundry is just a really light laundry detergent. Almost like you've already done the laundry, and you're just holding the towels with that light laundry scent. Now, let's go into the clams. I did get three clam shells. The first one I got is a Snickerdoodle Mug Cake. And can you see how cute these labels are? Oh my gosh. Little mixing bowls and sugar and flour. And this one is Apple Fritter Snickerdoodles and Honey Butter Rolls. Now, I did smell all of these ahead of time. And this is layered. I'm not sure if it's layered um like by scent but i'll be 100 percent honest this one smells like plastic i don't know if it's the clams i'm not really sure that clams like super yellow but i get more of like a baked scent here than i do in the clam it's almost like the clam sucked all the scent out and then this is just left with plastic yeah i i honestly don't smell anything on this one then we have Fun Pie, and this is Funnel Cake and Pie Crust. And I smell this, a really rich bakery scent. So Funnel Cake and Pie Crust are both like, oh, that's pretty cool. Just like very baked scents, like a very good blender scents. And mixed together, I get like a cinnamony, bakery, buttery, cookie cake scent. And I don't get any yeast from the funnel cake, which is good because I do not like that yeasty scent. 
And then, because I have to get it from every single person to try, because I love the scent so much, Cider Lane. Malt, apple cider, cinnamon, and caramel. And oh my god, there's a little dog that's like a little scare, like a little farmer guy. And a little apples. The packaging is so cute. And this smells just like everybody else's Cider Lane. I also don't get the plastic note. I don't know why that one scent gave me plastic. Nothing else smells like plastic. This smells just like Cider Lane. Creamy, gooey, caramel apple scent. Love. And, uh, you guys, I have no idea what the scent notes are on this. I should have looked it up, but look at this clam. It's a paw print. And it is in Trick or Treat. Low label here. And look. I mean, come on. On oh, is that the cutest thing? So each one of these paw prints is obviously a melt, and I feel like I'll cut this melt in half. It smells cologne -y, like a very light cologne. Look how cute! Oh my god, so cute! Yeah, I wish I, I wish I had the scent notes written on my thing. It's the only one that does not have scent notes on it. But yeah, it's like a a light cologne. Is that me or I don't know? It's not very strong, whatever it is. Let me smell the inside of the clam, actually, now that I'm... Now, here I smell a little bit like a cinnamon. Like a, like a cinnamon stick. But then here I get, like, a cologne scent. Not really sure on that one, but it's super cute. And then I got three waffles. And this one is Pumpkin Circus Cookie, which is... Pumpkin souffle and frosted animal cookies. Look at the detail on this. I mean, so many layers. Her pumpkin souffle is really good because I have another one that that. Mmm, really yummy. It's like a cinnamony bakery pumpkin, but a real pumpkin, like a very meaty pumpkin, which I feel like a lot of pumpkin scents don't have. This has that meaty pumpkin. Frosted animal cookie. I don't get a ton of that, but I definitely get the um, I definitely get the pumpkin souffle. Love. And this one is pumpkin donut shop. And this is baked spicy pumpkin and cinnamon sugar donuts. And see, it's like purple. I love the multicolored on these waffles. I get cinnamon sugar donut for sure. Baked spicy pumpkin. I don't necessarily smell a lot of pumpkin. I smell spice, but I wouldn't say spicy, like super harsh cinnamon. I'd say more of like a sugary cinnamon. It's a very emphasis on the cinnamon sugar donut scent. A very strong cinnamon sugar donut. And then we have Boo! And there's little ghosts. Oh my god, so cute. There's like a little husky with little ghosts around them. Peach Cobbler, Pumpkin Pie, Sugar Cookie, and Funnel Cake. A very interesting combo. And this, I feel like, looks like nighttime and on Halloween. You have the purple, the black, the blue, the yellow, and the orange. I will say it is not peach dominant, which I was shocked. I thought it would be much more peach than it is. But you smell like a peach cobbler, for sure. But it's very light peach. And then... Pumpkin pie, sugar cookie, funnel cake. I can get funnel cake. Sugar cookie, hmm. I don't know. It's a very, very bakery funnel cake, but I would say that the peach cobbler is definitely not super strong in there. I thought it would be stronger peach. And then I did get, I had to get a little order of her um, little paw prints because I thought they're so cute. Look at this. I love the little one spot. There's a little red on the back. And this is Bonehead. This is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Caramel Apple Donuts. And this is like, it smells like mixing Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and Cider Lane. I love. Love. And it's strong. This one's strong. Mmm. Yum. I'll probably cut these um, pop prints in half. So then I have four melts on these guys. And then, what I think I was most excited about, I think because the labels are so big, are these. They're called crumble cups. So they're like a bunch of little pieces. And the first one, pug rolls. Look how cute. It literally is like a little pugs. And it says, honey buttered cinnamon rolls and cotton candy. 
And then when you open it up, it's literally like the colors of a pug. Like yellows, browns, whites, and they're just a bunch of little shapes. And you could just sprinkle some crumbs in your melters and boom, you got some wax. This smells just like Texas Roadhouse. Like those honey butter rolls. Just like it. But it's not like overpoweringly yeasty, which I appreciate a lot. It's like a mix of mm, cinnamony, buttery rolls. I don't necessarily smell cotton candy. It's just like a sweet um, buttery roll scent. That is delish. Next we have Butter Bear. Look how cute. And this is chestnuts, brown sugar, and cornbread. And there's a bunch of little bears and a little pat of butter. Cute little colors. Ooh, I dropped one on the floor. Wow butter. Wow butter. Like, you melted a stick of butter. Oh my gosh, that's strong. Strong butter. And that's really what I smell. Like a buttery scent. Like, really just like butter. Hmm. I'm not picking up on chestnuts, or brown sugar, or cornbread. I'm smelling butter. Like, straight up butter. And then the last one I got is zombie snacks. And instead of being crumbs, these are, I'll take the first layer out, shapes. So we have some paw prints, a little pumpkin, a little skull, cute, and then a little bone. And this scent is pumpkin souffle baked pretzel waffle cone. Now, I ordered this because I'm very curious about their pretzel, because I love pretzel, if it's done right. And this is the pretzel oil I like. It's that salty, break, hard pretzel scent. And that's what you smell like the most. And then again, it has that, like, that baked pumpkin scent that I love so much. Whoops. keep losing them. I keep, like, trying to eat the wax as it's falling into my mouth. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's like a, that spicy pumpkin, but that baked pumpkin mixed with that buttery, or not buttery, that salty pretzel. Yum. Really like this one. So, I would say I think they need to cure a little bit because they're not super strong. And I know that's like the number one thing with wax is you want to make sure it's strong before you melt it. So, I'm going to put them in the box, let them sit for a month, like that's what I typically do with wax, and I'll get back to you. I'm definitely, Zombie Snacks is going to be the first one I melt because it's Halloween theme. But, so far, super, super cute. I really love the packaging. The verdict is still out. I did not place another order yet because I want to see what I think of them on warm and you'll see that in my trash talks videos so let me know if you guys tried wolf wicks again i'll leave their facebook group and their website down below and don't forget to subscribe make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date with everything i post here on youtube and i'll talk to you guys soon bye